Hi, Rick here from Iron for Models, unique dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. In this video, I'm going to be covering Unique's new Typhoon H hexacopter. I'm going to take you from the box to the flying site and show you everything else in between. Okay, so first things first, we need to put it into calibration mode. So we need to come down, down to here, you'll see the calibration there, calibration GPS, although we're not doing the GPS, we're doing the compass. So you just want to click on compass and you'll hear the craft going into calibration mode. Okay, so we're now in compass calibration mode and you'll see the outer LEDs flashing. What we do is pick it up and we're going to rotate it forward on that axis and keep rotating it until the lights move on to the next set of arms. So round we go, like that. So that's it moved on to the next arm. So what we do is we move on the axis, then rotate forward again. Keep going round until they're on to the next arms, and then to the next set. Go round round again and we're on to the next arms generally it's two rotations seems to pretty much do it then on to there oh and there we go and then you'll hear the uh, flight controller restarting like when you switch it on and that means it's a successful calibration. Now, if you do get a calibration error due to probably interference, the rear light here will go solid white. Now, I'm doing it inside a building which is definitely not what you do. You do it in a wide open space and at least 11 feet away from any other kind of electrical devices. So for example, your ST16 controller, once you activate the uh, compass calibration, best put it away uh, and not have it near it. Again, mobile phones, anything like that, make sure it's away. If you do get continuous fails in the spot that you're in, then best move to another location.